Welcome to Engaging with Self-Ligation, a series of short modules where topics surrounding self-ligation will be discussed. My name is Dr. Lisa Alvitro, and I have 25 years of clinical experience and over 15 years using self-ligation. Today's topic will address archwire activation in self-ligation. Joining me is Jennifer McWinnie with over 15 years of clinical experience. Controlling activation of the arch wire, and you know, what do I mean by that? Well, I think a lot of times we're focusing on obviously our brackets, our bracket placement. We're focusing on which wire we're going to use, but what about how do we activate that wire? Because we have to remember that really the arch wire and the amount that we deflect that becomes part of that force system. So we're always trying to figure out what system, what forces are we going to create, and that is one of the biggest advantages I think often overlooked, particularly I think in areas where there's a lot of delegation of tasks um, and being able to control that activation not only between different doctors that may be practicing together or different staff members. So we have to be able to control that activation of the arch wire and you know variations in the way the arch wire is engaged influence the force and remember it's the force that moves teeth, it's the force that affects the treatment. So in self-ligation, that activation is either through closing a door um, or securing it with clips. You know, closing a door like when we're using Ultra or securing it with clips like in Smart Clip. So it's the standardization of, among all clinicians that helps produce a standardized force and a standardized treatment effect. One of the keys to efficiency in treatment is standardization. So you may, you and I may choose the same arch wire. What if you're if, if if you don't tie it in like I tie it in, there's a big difference. Or what if there's even a difference like one appointment I tie it in tightly, one appointment I don't. And so this standardization I think is really so uh, it's just one of the amazing um, advantages of self ligation. So you know here I think here's a, a nice example of that. You know what happens if you use a, a ligature tie? Do you ever see differences in ligature ties? You do. Different colors sometimes even have different strengths or weaknesses. Um, the way people put them on are different sometimes as well. What about even when patients come back? Sometimes they're off, but you can see on that slide the force is stronger, and sometimes that elastic tie will just come off. So then we have no movement on that tooth, or we've lost that movement that we should have had. And I think that's really important that, you know, obviously when you take that tie off, it starts to stretch and then you're trying to work it around the bracket and then it may not hold the arch wire. I think this is a great example because, you know, obviously it's a, a, a type of not with identical malocclusion, but you can see that arch wire is not completely engaged. You may think, well, does that really matter? Okay, let's look at the arch wire activation. Look at how much activation you'd see there look how much you see, that's about twice as much. And that deflection is what generates the force. So this tooth and this tooth will not move the same way. And you know, like Jennifer mentioned, this tend to create over time and sometimes you'll think, oh, I've got it in. And then when the patient comes back, it maybe was overstretched or it then fatigued and, and the wire came out or the entire elastic was lost. Now, one of the ways you can overcome the limitations of a lot. And I admit the colors are cute. And you know, yeah, kids yeah. will say, what about colors? I want colors with my with my brackets. Well, you know, eventually you're going to get colors um, when we're trying to add resistance. You know, a module will talk about when you're going to want resistance. So yes, you will get your colors. Um, but sometimes it's can make teeth move faster without a color. But let's take a look at okay, I could just steel tie something. Well, you can, and again, you can mimic that amount of deflection that you've seen in self ligation is probably not identical because remember you're not pushing against the slot but then you've got all these little ties that you've got to tuck in between and you know do your patients ever have problems with little steel ties and sometimes they do when they go to floss sometimes it can bring those out or sometimes if you don't get it properly tucked it could poke your lip so you know it, it's something that you can use to activate an arch wire, but again, I think it's very technique sensitive. Some staff members, or sometimes myself, I'm better, even better at one side than the other, depend if you're left or right-handed, and it obviously really increases chair time. So really, you know, in, in our clinic, we prefer to be able to use self-ligation because no matter if I if I slide this arch wire in, or a staff member slides the arch wire in. We all close the door. We all get the same amount of deflection. We should all get the same treatment response.
Today's topic was archwire activation and self-ligation. There are other topics that are available as part of this series.